Hey guys, Brian here from Liquid Concepts. So today we're gonna to talk a little bit about spray cans. And so I know a lot of y'all have asked a lot of questions about spray cans, whether you can use uh, this brand or that brand or any of those. And so we thought we'd shoot a quick little video, show you guys a few things on why it is definitely important to use a hydrographic spray can instead of just a regular spray can that you buy from any store. Now, of course we have a can right here. Uh, we've just closed this off so that way it doesn't show uh, whether it's one can or another or anything like that because they're all gonna be about the same. And then of course we have one like we have here, which is gonna be the same uh, black color, but definitely made for the hydrograph it's itself. And so we wanted to show you just a quick little preview of the difference between what it actually is going to do whenever you actually dip it with a regular spray paint can that might either be uh, enamel or an acrylic or something like that versus an actual spray paint can that is made specifically for the hydrograph it itself. So we got a couple of uh, little speed shapes that we're gonna be spraying. So let's go ahead, let's get those sprayed and show you guys the end result. So let's get started. All right, so we've got everything already prepped out. Now again, we're not going the full extent for all the primer and the adhesion promoter and then the paint and the whole steps of the process, but this is still going to show you the exact way of what is going to happen whenever you, of course, don't have the right type of paint versus you do have the right type of paint. So just to make sure that we uh, keep track of everything, I have actually labeled these. Uh, so we have the hydrographic paint right here, which is going to be this one. And then we also have uh, the regular spray can, which is going to be, of course, this one right here. So let's go ahead, we'll grab some gloves on and we will spray these, we'll let them dry. And then of course, we'll turn around and we'll dip both of them simultaneously. So then that way you can see that everything is the exact same and you'll see a, definitely a big difference between what this can gives the results of versus this can right here. So let's get started. So we've got everything already sprayed. And of course, as you can see, we have our first one here, which is the hydro paint. This one does have a little bit more sheen to it, a little bit more gloss level than what this one right here does. Of course, this one is the regular spray can. And so as far as the sheen wise, um, you know, inevitably with something like this, you could probably use the gloss, you could use the flat, whichever. Um, you're still probably gonna get the exact same results as what you're about to see here. And so uh, we've got a film that's going to work really good with the black. Uh, this is just a silver and clear carbon fiber. Um, if you're curious about it, it is the CF51. We're gonna have a link in the description on uh, to where you can check out the website and if you'd like to purchase it or anything, Thing, but let's go ahead and let's get this laid out here and we'll lay out enough to do both of these all at the same time so then that way we can spray them both the exact same and dip them both the exact same and then go ahead and show you the end result. All right, so we've got, of course, the hydro paint and the regular spray can paint right here. So we'll dip these the exact same. All right, so hydro paint we have right here. And we have our others which is going to be the regular regular spray can we have up top. And so all in all, everything looks pretty good, but what's gonna happen is, is if we go to touch this, it will start to smear. I'm just, you know, just barely touching this and it is of course smearing all over the place. And so what you'll find is, is that as, as you start to um, rinse this, what you're going to get is little spots like this right here, where this this is pretty much just smearing right off as we as we touch it. Now, 
we'll go over to the hydrographic paint and you can see that the hydrographic paint there's pretty much no no problem with it now we've got everything's good everything works really well whenever we go to rinse it we're not going to get uh, areas that will come off or smear like this or of course uh, we're, we don't get areas where it's like this right here. And so you can see that the print just does not stick whatsoever to some of these areas. And so you can see here that it's literally just smearing right off of the print itself. And again, I'm not pressing hard, but you can see that it's definitely just smearing right off. And so what, what we're seeing is, is that the print is not bonding into the base coat on the regular spray paint can, but because we used a can that is hydrographic paint, it's made for the hydrographics, you get a lot better coverage, a lot better quality of the paint that the film itself will actually bond in directly with the paint and it is made specifically for it. So in looking at this in conclusion will spray cans work yes they will i am not discounting that they will work but do you want to have the possibility of this maybe happening while you're rinsing it or if you just barely touch it or something like that or would you rather know that the print is going to work correctly and have something like this because Again, time is money, and so if you're having to redo these pieces because of things like this right here, compared to just swapping a spray can and getting results like this, this right here is what I would assume almost everybody wants, is this right here. So of course, as you can definitely tell, the hydrographics paint is definitely going to be a better option for long term, as well as it's going to be what you need for the actual hydrographics paints. Now. Um, of course, you can definitely use spray paints. I am not discounting that at all. And as you can tell, it did somewhat stick, but uh, there's also a lot of issues with that, that the paint is not actually made for the actual hydrographics itself. And so that's where it comes into a problem is that if it's left too long or it's sprayed too much or anything like that, then you're going to possibly run into issues that you don't want versus you use an actual hydrographics paint, whether it's in an aerosol can or an actual spray gun or anything like that, you're going to get a lot better results and you're going to get a lot better dip overall. And it's one less hassle that you have to worry about as far as if it's going to work or if it's going to be compatible. So hopefully this video has really helped you guys out. Of course, if you have any questions or comments, definitely leave them below. We'd love to hear from you on anything hydrographics related, as well as if you've had other uh, spray paints or anything like that in the past and it hasn't worked, I'd love to hear about them as well. Uh, also, if you have found some that does work, definitely let me know. We'd love to hear from those as well. I'm Brian from Liquid Concepts, and this is how we customize your world. We'll see you guys next time.